Hello, this is Angela with Parker's Housefrau, coming to you from my horribly lit and noisy basement. But I hope you'll bear with me. I wanted to make a video today to talk about purchasing linen for sewing projects. So this will be a real quick video, just giving you some tips and explaining sort of why I made the purchases that I made and how I go ahead and get my linen ready for sewing. So I don't usually purchase new fabric. I almost never do. I buy clothes from the thrift store and repurpose them. I buy sheets and tablecloths and things like that. But I wanted to invest in some really good uh, clothing for Christmas presents that required more yardage of linen than I could find at the thrift store. So I did go ahead and make some purchases. Yeah. So I made these purchases from fabrics-store.com at the recommendation of some of my friends who are quite good sewists. And I decided to purchase some plain white linen in two different weights. I also purchased this beautiful dove gray linen that is gonna be used as a uh, fabric for making a shirt for a family member. So at fabrics-store.com, they had two really good sales that are not listed on their website. You can only find them through their Facebook page. They'll list the sales. So if you go to the website, they're listed as a regular sale, regular price, unless you go through the Facebook ad. So going through the Facebook ad, I got this 1C64 bleached linen, which is 5.3 ounces per yard. And this was $8.64 a yard, which is more than $3 off the regular price. And then I got this linen, the IL020 bleached linen, and this was $6 and something a yard. It was a really good sale. Now you do have to pay shipping on top of that, so just be aware that shipping is not free. Um, it wasn't that bad though. And I couldn't find anything in my local area that I could go pick up that was comparable since Fabric Depot, my beloved Fabric Depot, went out of business a few years ago. So I'm gonna use these for sewing projects. I know there's implications from having bought bleached linen, but um, I figure these are garments that are gonna last for a really long time, be made with love and mended and taken care of and hopefully handed down. So let's talk about the difference between these two linens really quickly, and then I'll tell you how I washed them. So the first one here, the IL020, which is I believe 3.7 ounces per yard, is a much lighter weight linen. You can see here it's got a translucency to it. So I purchased it on a really good sale and a friend recommended that you use it for something like a chemise or a nightgown, um, undergarments, things like that. I may actually go ahead and make a shirt out of it because I have six yards and just have it be a really lightweight shirt that I wear under a bodice or a vest. But I won't be using this for the shirt project that I have for um, gift ideas. So we'll see, it was just such a good deal. Now it comes pre-softened, but it does need to be washed because linen does shrink. So I am gonna pre-wash it. But be aware if you are getting this IL020 bleached linen that it is quite lightweight and um, very kind of ethereal. And I think it'll drape nicely, but it is somewhat translucent. So you would need to wear this in layers if you wanted to have it be a shirt or something like that. So now let's look at the 1C64, which again, this is 5.3 ounces per yard. And you can feel right away, I can feel right away, it is much more substantial of a fabric. And I got four yards of this, and that's enough to make two shirts uh, with the pattern that I have. And right away, you can see that the weave is thicker. It's a heavier linen, and it um, definitely is going to be something that is appropriate weight for a shirt. So let's see if I can hold the two of these up from the corners here and compare the two of them with my horrible basement lighting. Here is the heavier 5.3 ounce weight. And here is the lighter weight, 3.7 ounce. So both of these are gonna have lots of practical uses, but uh, definitely thinking that this one is going to be more translucent and I'll be, probably be making a shift out of that. So again, this one, the 1C64, I got for $8.64 a yard. It is a shirt weight linen. Probably gonna get two shirts out of the four yards here. 
Okay, so just to reiterate here, the 1C64 bleached linen was $8.64 a yard. The code I needed to find off their Facebook page, not their website. Four yards of this should be enough for me to make two shirts with the folk wear pattern I have. And then this, the one, uh, the IL020 linen, much thinner, planning on making with six yards of this, one lightweight blouse and probably a chemise, and then we'll see what I will uh, have left after that. And then let me show you how I go ahead and wash them. So again, these will shrink and they do need to be washed. Now, really quickly here, I if you watched my old video on my main channel about uh, washing and reducing plastic pollution in our wash. You may have noticed that I have a new washer since then. This is a Speed Queen. I got this off of Buy Nothing for free. I think folks in the Pacific Northwest don't know about Speed Queen. Someone was giving this away because they bought a house and it had this washer in it and they thought this is some off brand. I don't want it. This is a very, very expensive, heavy duty commercial washing machine. Speed Queens are very quiet. They are amazing. They clean your clothes really quickly and they are heckin' expensive. Also, this washing machine weighs a bajillion pounds. It was really hard for us to get it in the basement, but it was free and it washes great. So if you ever see a Speed Queen on Buy Nothing or Craigslist or something, great washer. It's the only time I've ever owned a front loader and I was willing to get a front loader because it is a Speed Queen. So obviously I wanna take all of the tags off. And then I'm going to open up the fabric so that it has the opportunity to really get washed well in the washer. You don't want to put it in all flat and bundled up. And again, I'm not worried about confusing these two linens in the wash because it's really obvious to me which one is the heavier linen, which one is that 5.3 ounce linen, and which one is the 3.7. So I've loaded these in the washing machine. Again, I wanna open them up really well so that they're able to get really clean on all sides. Now, I want to choose my most delicate setting, okay? So I wanna choose, if you have a hand wash option, I have a delicate option. And then I wanna look at my choices here. I wanna have a low spin speed. And obviously I'm gonna have a light soil level. This is clean. Um, and it's just gonna remove any of the coating that is on it from the textile manufacturer. And I wanna use cool water. I don't wanna wash this on hot. A little bit of gentle detergent in as well. And then I'm gonna hang these up to dry. I know some folks put their linen in the dryer. I hang mine up to dry because that's what I'm gonna do with the garment when I'm finished and I won't be putting these in the dryer. And then I'll iron it and then I'll go ahead and start my sewing. So thanks for watching. I'll be back on Friday with one of my regular videos. I hope those tips were helpful for you if you are looking at purchasing linen for your sewing projects. If you have sources for your linen fabric that are not from fabrics-store.com that you would like to share with me, I'm always looking for more sources of sustainable uh, fabric purchases. So please share those with me. I would love to hear it. Hope you are doing well and I'll be back on Friday. Thanks.